Hi everyone, my name is Arnel Castillo and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about a two-factor authentication plugin and this one is literally called two-factor authentication. It's from the makers of the Updraft plugin for WordPress. So here on our screen uh, you can see that I already have the installation of the plugin and what we're going to do is just go over a quick uh, overview of how to set up a user and then some of the features. Uh, most of the features for this plugin are only available in premium, but if you want a lightweight solution to enable or add to FA to your installation, then this might be the solution for you. So let's take a look at the uh, um, what is added when you install the plugin. And the first thing you'll see is the two-factor authentication option added to the menu here. And if you click on this, you'll be brought to the two-factor authentication page for configuring the user that you're logged in with. Now, this is not the site-wide, and if you're in logged in as an administrator on your WordPress site, you'll notice at the very top here that it says the site-wide administration options are here. And basically what it is is that they've hidden them in the settings section, and here you can see two-factor authentication, and these are the options for the overall authentication uh, settings for the plugin. Now notice here that there are only a few options available, like I was saying a little earlier, that you can, you can set the two-factor authentication by roles, and it is not compulsory, meaning that your users are not required to use it. Uh, you can make it compulsory if you update or upgrade to the, the premium version of the plugin. And there's other options that they list here, like trusted devices, and then XML RPC requests, which if you have a device like say you have a tablet that you use to log in, um, they can use XML RPC requests to authenticate, but you can force them to use 2FA as well using this feature here. And this is available to you here. And here you can also set what algorithm is used to log in for your users when they use 2FA. So um, they, like most other 2FA uh, solutions, use time-based, one-time password options like the Google Authenticator, or they can use hash-based one-time passwords, which are usually done over email. So here I've made sure that I've selected TOTP, and I'm just going to scroll down a little further down, and here you can see user settings, and again, um, they list all the options that are available in the premium that you can see here. So I'm going to leave it as it is. By default, everything's checked off it is, and, and they have checked what I would typically use for, for um, configuring a user to use 2FA. But I'm going to go ahead and um, go back to the dashboard and then click on the two-factor authentication here to authenticate a user. Now, what I want to show here is just to go over it real quick because I'm going to configure this for a subscriber in just a moment but I wanted to go over the sections of this particular screen. So here, there are three things that need to be done in order to add two-factor authentication through this, for this plugin. And you first need to enable it. So here you would choose to enable or disable it, and then you would click on Save Changes. Then um, here you can see that there is a time-based password that will change here in a minute. But um, if you scroll down further, you'll see that there's the option to use TOTP or, or HOTP. And I'm requiring that it be TOTP, but since this is an administrator user, you can actually choose one or the other. So finally, after you have chosen the, uh, um, the algorithm type that you want to use for authentication, here you can see that you have the option to scan a QR code to set up your TOTP device. And there is also a one-time password here that indicates that your authentication device is in sync and generating the same number. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and log out, and I'm gonna log in as a subscriber. And here you can see the profile that immediately logs in for this user, and there is the option here for two-factor authentication, and there's the user setup screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable it. I'm gonna make sure it's two TP down here at the bottom. I'm gonna click on Save Changes, just to be sure. And then I'm going to take my authentication device. And for Google Authentication, there's a plus sign in the bottom right-hand corner. You click on it, 
And then it says scan a QR code or enter a setup key. And I'm going to go ahead and scan the code off the screen. And it immediately creates an account at the bottom of the authentication app. And that's it, really. Um, once you're done with that, you can uh, log out and test it. So what we'll do here is just go ahead and log out. And I'm going to log back in. And there you go. You can see that I am required to add a code here. And here I have a code that's based on time. And I'm going to type it in. And there you go. I have a successful login. Thanks for listening to this tutorial. Please provide any comments and feedback below. If you liked this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Check out our InMotion Hosting Support Center for help with your website. We provide thousands of step-by-step -step guides, videos, and much more to lead you towards making your online project a successful one. You can find us at www.inmotionhosting.com support.